We are at the Sea Otter Classic here in Monterey. I'm just about to take you for a, a bit of a tech tour around the pits. There's a whole bunch of really cool tech. Check this out. Okay, so we're out at Sea Otter. I've just bumped into Richie Schley, who's just showed this a really cool Rilo camera. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, give us a bit of a lowdown on this, because this looks like something pretty special to me. Well, it's a Rilo 360 cam, and basically it seems to be able to do things that no other camera can do, like the stabilization. You no longer need a gimbal. You can mount it anywhere on your bike, on your body. It can be have quite a bit of movement, and the stabilization is crazy. The other thing is, uh, you know, because it's 360, you're capturing everything and you're not getting that typical distorted look that you get with 360 cams. And the kicker of it all is you can quickly inside their app make a crazy edit that looks like a professional did it. It's amazing. So this is sort of stuff you could do like trail side, get up on social media pretty quickly. Is that yeah, the intention? I, if you've looked at my uh, social media, my social media game went like this when I got this camera because it's pretty simple to use once you get the hang of it. Sure, and uh, tell us a few of the specs, like what sort of mounts does it use, is it compatible with any other existing equipment? Yeah, it's exa it uses a standard GoPro mount and uh, there's, a, there's a waterproof case if you want to take it in the water and stuff. And so, like I say, because of the stability, you can pretty much mount it anywhere and it works. So this is the actual unit itself. As you can see, it's really, really nicely manufactured. As Richie said, it's compatible with existing GoPro mounts out there. The 360 stuff in there does photos, does videos, does everything you need to do. Could this be the new GoPro? So we're over at Continental Tires. Actually, I've just seen some of those on Danny Mac's Trials bike. And these are the redesigned Trail King and Mountain King that you might have seen recently. So they've been redesigned. They've got different tread pattern, but also they're tubeless ready and true size. They pump up super easy when it comes to tubeless. These are the two six Barons I've been running on my Scott Genius for a couple of months now, but actually these are now on the market. Quite excitingly, we've got the Trail King, the Mountain King, and the Cross King coming soon in 2.6 inch. Now, how about this for a new bit of tech? Look at the rev grips here. So basically, this is a grip that isolates your hand from the actual bars themselves. As you can see by this cutaway here, the actual grip itself doesn't sit on the bar. It's free floating on the collars. So there's actually a bit of degree of suspension to that. But also there's a slight rotation to them, which can be tuned on the Pro model there. And this is how it works. But these really cool little collars that sit on the inside, and by using a shim system, you can tune the amount that actually floats. So you think about that, the grip actually is completely isolated from the forces that the bars actually transmit through to your hands. I am so into that idea and really want to try a set of those. Something else I particularly like about these grips is there's two options. You've got the race version, which is a bit more of a price point option. That is not tunable, so you just buy it as it is. And then you get the pro option, which is fully tunable. And what's really smart is every single component can be bought separately. So when you wear out the main part of the grip, you only have to buy that. And they do various offers for bulk buying of those grips or end components on their own. A real smart way of selling handlebar grips. As you might know here on GMBM, we actually run Ergon products ourselves. It's nice to see they've got an SM women's saddle now, so women's specific off-road saddle. Really good thing to have in the collection there. But the thing I really want to talk about are these grips. So we use the GD1s mostly. That's a downhill orientated grip that comes in two thicknesses and it comes in different compounds as well. And this is a GA3, which is a new all-mountain grip. Now Ergon in the early days really famous for having those winged grips that give you support. Now this is a bit more of a trail focused version of that grip. So it's still lock on, they come in different thicknesses and different compound geometers. But the thing that's really cool for me is this slight wing. Now at first you might think it doesn't give you the space to sort of manoeuvre on the bars, but actually that is where a lot of the numbness comes on long rides or really rough rides. So I think that's going to give you a really good bit of support. And in my case particularly, where I broke my wrist quite severely many years ago and I've actually got a bit of damage to it, that's actually going to really help me. So I think I'm going to end up probably trying these grips. I might end up just running the GA3 on one side and maybe like a GD1 or something on the other side because I might not want that support. But I think it's really cool they've got left and right specific grips and they're actually catering for the support in a bit more of a dynamic grip now, as opposed to their more touring focused grips, which they were always famous for. Spark, a company known for its power meters and the shock whiz that helps you set up your suspension, it's actually released this new product called the Tire Whiz. So this will send real-time tire pressure to your app or even any AMP Plus enabled device. 
to measure two percent accuracy and it goes down to a tenth of a psi you can also set a range on your head unit so say five or ten psi it'll give you a warning if your tire pressure goes out of that range it also do that via a flashing led on the unit itself so we know that tire pressure really does make a big difference to how your bike rides and the only way 10 grams they do cost 200 dollars but it's another great tool for trying to dial in your bike setup so it's well documented that i'm a huge fan of going tubeless and it's all about getting the right valve and these milk it valves i have referenced these before and the ask gmbn tech shows these are probably the best things ever invented as far as i'm concerned now it's a sealed system on the bottom there so don't get clogged up so if you just see if i just depress the actual core there you'll see that opens up on the bottom there so obviously when that's shut you're not going to get the tube of semen going back up into the valve stem so it's great for two things firstly you don't get the valve stem itself clogged up and secondly you can remove the valve stem for easy inflation of the bike and using their unique syringe system for putting the sealant into the tire and what that means is when you go to reinflate it you don't have to sort of fret about getting the valve core back inside of losing a lot of air pressure it's a really really good system and just purely for the fact that you don't get clogged up valves i absolutely love it now also from milkit they've got one of the coolest things you've ever seen this little gadget here so you get various different kit sizes you get different bottles it's a tubeless inflation system you can use this on some aftermarket bottles like the sig but they do their dedicated bottles that are pressure tested and definitely safe for this and it's the fastest system it inflates faster than co2 cartridge you can pump this up the side of the trail from your mini pump and just release it back into the tire again for instant inflation it's the coolest inflation system i've seen so not only are we looking at a very nice Scott bike here, but you might have noticed something pretty special on the bike. Look at the rolling stock on here. So these are the world's first single piece designed carbon fiber wheels with a very unique construction to them. Now they're made by Syncross and currently they're only available in 29 inch. So it's a cross country trail focused wheel with a 26 mil internal rim size there. So obviously with the design of this wheel with this one piece spoke design that goes straight in towards the flanges here, it's tubeless ready from the off. And because of the way it's designed, everything is under tension the whole time. So you don't have any issues of compression of spokes that you do tend to get if you have carbon spokes on the bottom of the stroke there. It's just absolutely mind blowing the technology that's gone into developing this. Check this out. As you might guess, there's a bit of a hefty price tag to get this sort of level tech on your bike. Initially, this is gonna be 3,500 US dollars. So we don't have any fixed prices for euros just yet because it's such a brand new product. And you might wonder what would happen if you do manage to snap a spoke. Well, firstly, it's quite unlikely because of the design of them being all under tension at the same time as part of the strength and rigidity of that wheel. If you do manage to break a spoke, however unlikely that is because of the tension and the way it works, they've got a three-year crash replacement policy built into these wheels, and they've also got a two-year warranty with them as well. Of course, if you do manage to damage them outside of that, the spokes can be replaced as well. And just one extra little bit of tech while we're here at Synchros, I've noticed that their one-piece Hickson bars here are now available on a full 800 mil width, which pleases me immensely because I've wanted to run these on my Scott, but they've just been too narrow for me previously at 760, so super excited to see those. Just discovered the new Cane Creek E-Wings titanium crank set with a really unique 30 mil spindle and junction system here. So several things about these, it's really cool. So firstly, they weigh 400 grams, so it's a super light option. And you might think, all right, so it's carbon cranks, you can arguably get carbon cranks as similar or maybe a lighter weight, but it's the durability. These are completely aimed at the enduro market, the high-end enduro market. And whilst they are costly at 900 bucks, the thing that's really good is they've got a 10-year no-nonsense warranty on them and they're purposely designed to withstand all those sort of impacts and twisting forces you get with hard riding. I mean, it's titanium, it's corrosion-free. They're always going to look just as good as they look the day you buy them. I mean, I'm having a tech geek out. These things are just next level. Would you pay 900 bucks for a pair of cranks though? So there's a 30 tooth interface here, which is probably one of the most intricate pieces of machining I've seen on most things, let alone with titanium. As we know, it's incredibly hard to work with. They're butted as well, which is very rare for titanium, the way that you would manufacture it. And it's a 30 mil spindle, so it's compatible with the regular sort of press fit style bearings and 30 mil bearings. And just look at how nicely made the preload collar is on there. Even that just has the telltale signs of a Cane Creek product with that super attention to detail. 
absolutely stunning piece of engineering that really really nice so there you go there's some of the best tech we've seen on our walk around on day two here at the seal to classic if you want to see what we saw on day one click right down here and if you want to see all the coolest 29 er downhill bikes that we also saw here at Sea Otter, click down there. As always, click on that globe to subscribe. We have brand new content for you every day and every week here at GMBN. And of course, if you like the video and you liked all the tech, give us a thumbs up.